Britain. Let's see what we can do and kind of stare at the various random things that are here. Like, what the hell is this? I have no idea what that is. We can't go that much north beyond Hadrian's Wall. Anyway. Yes, the my lord. The first game took place in the south of Britain. On my way. And I'm assuming this game will take place predominantly in the north. No, I haven't played anything but this preview build. Just so we're clear on that. On my way. So let's go deal with those marauding picks. Are they? Where are they? Are these the guys? Guys. I bring a message from Cornelius Severus, my lord. The venerable senator received word that the Caracalla family means to negotiate with the Picts marauding on this side of the wall. Their intention is to incite the Picts against the Sula family. My master advises you to act first and turn the Picts against the Caracallas before they carry out their plan. Of course, here's a diplomacy panel. We can pick up various diplomatic actions with some of the families here. But for now, that's not particularly important. army broke through Hadrian's Wall and found refuge in a fortified Roman villa near the main roads. They are looting and plundering the Caracalla lands, constantly harassing the wealthy villages. Your scouts report that they are too weak to move deeper into the Roman lands, but they will surely continue wreaking havoc where they are. Right. So we have the choice of a battle here. So I'm going to see if I can do that. Oh. So I have three options. I can negotiate with the Picts. I can negotiate uh, with the Caracalla family. Or I can just go kick the crap out of the Picts. So let's see here. What the Caracalla family has to offer. They are not very fond of us. If you recalled some of the exchanges from that adventure quest. The Caracallas are sworn protectors of Hadrian's Wall. The plundering pick army should be their problem, and could e you could easily let them face the savages on their own. However, a clever politician might turn the situation to something beneficial for everyone, so you begin negotiations with the family. I destroy the pick army to raise my reputation with the Caracallas, ignore the proposal by the Severus family. I destroy the picked army to raise my reputation with the Caracallas and expose the plan of the Severus family. Or I can just destroy them if they'll pay me a bunch of money. Position my army in the open field and wait for the picks to move against them. Let's just do that. Ooh, they have some sort of. They have giants in their army. And uh, Tullan folk, so this could be interesting. Wogs. Alright, let's do this. Be a good position to end this preview. We'll just skip through that. You can see. We have uh, some positions near us. Which we, th we can send some of our troops to go and claim. There we go. form our men into similar positions as they were the last time. 
and I'll send some of my more don't want to say useless some of my less desirable units to go and take some of these positions Let's head up here and take this as well and then with that we can move onto the field and engage the picks that's some pretty weird looking units. Let's hope my men will stand their ground. have let's go look at some of these guys some pretty scary looking things I don't know where the picks got such crazy units but <laughs> it's kind of unfortunate for us the Talon folk are moving into range of my archers. So let's see if we can take them out. Okay. I suppose my... Wow. Did you see that? That was actually pretty cool. The whole, uh... Just watching them fall out of the sky. That was pretty neat. Send in. Oops. I don't. I don't know who's phoning me right now, but I don't particularly want to talk to them. Well, that's pretty interesting. How these units attack. How they kind of fly down and try and. Pick them in off like that. That's pretty cool. Wow, I shouldn't. I should have been paying attention to some of my other units because. They're breaking through. Let's see if I can, I can do anything special. Oh, these men are fighting the wargs. That's what, that's what they're dealing with. I'll send Sulla in to come in behind these picked warriors and take care of them. So I gotta say, um, they, it looks like they're really ramping up the supernatural elements of the game. In terms of what kind of crazy units you can have on the battlefield and what uh, what they'll be able to do, which I think is very very cool, because those were some of my favorite parts of the last game, and I'm really happy that they seem to be expanding that aspect of it. Let's see if I can take these auxiliary eye, or auxiliary to flank these archers and take them out. Clearly, archers are indispensable units. Let's see if I have some. Tarak is casting a spell, but he's dead, so he can't really do anything.
these archers. So they stop shooting and killing my men. That's important stuff. And I don't even know what really happened to the wogs. I guess they kind of got decimated by archery fire. kind of sitting around. Legionaries, hopefully they'll be able to pull back all the aux auxiliary troops. Hopefully the legionaries will be able to put a swift end to these giants. Because these legionaries, man, they're pretty badass dudes. Do you want to mess with them? They just slaughtered that giant instantaneously. Now they're going to town on these picked archers. There's probably not a lot they can do. Considering they have no armor and no shields. They're going up against the virtual tanks. ancient era, even though this era didn't exactly exist in reality. That's besides the point. Oh, there we go. That was a slaughter. We lost 200 soldiers, and they lost 1,354. Uh, Well, we almost lost a unit, but we managed to save him just before he died. So you've crushed the horde of savages. They won't bother the peaceful Romans in that area anymore. Thus, completing the quest. And with that, that brings us to the end of our King Arthur 2 the role playing war game preview. I hope you enjoyed this glimpse at King Arthur. The full game comes out very soon, January 10th. I can Ready tell to you, serve. I can tell you I will certainly be looking at it. Don't know if I'll do a let's play of it though. I have a lot on my plate that I got to finish before I can think about starting new let's plays. However, that being said, again, very interested in the game from what I've played. Very cool. A lot of really uh, unique and interesting ideas and they're really expanding. What made the first game good? Well, shedding a lot of the issues that the first game, the first King Arthur had. And there was a lot of them and I have a lot of hope for this game. And I can't wait to see the finished product. So, that's it for now. And until next time, this has been Joseph Eastron of Stalin, signing off, and you guys take care. <laughs>